So, um, I've been, of course, using the uh, Yesu FTDX10 for the past couple of weeks now and having a lot of fun. It's a great, great uh, device. It's a great transceiver and receiver. But, um, you know, to power, you have to buy a power supply. You need a power supply for ham transceivers because most of them require you to actually have an external supply to it. And so these devices, they take a lot of power, not just for receive, but they take a lot of power when you transmit. So I've had the Pyramid PSV300 for the last um, few years. And this was what was powering mostly my CB radio. And in the last few months, it also was powering my Yesu FT450. So what happened is that this was the main power supply. This is capable of 30 amps, but it is a switching power supply. And switching power supplies are known for their harmonics that they create in the spectrum of HF radio. And of course, this was one of the main problems that I hated about the PSV300 by Pyramid. Yes, it works great in giving the power you need, but it had these little buzzes at intervals, regular intervals. And what made me change is actually when I got the Yesu FTDX10, IN radio, um, something you know that is great. Well, I don't want to be bogged down by some problem that the power supply is creating a buzz and I'm preventing me from contacts and. That's what happened in the first few days that I got my FTDX10 and it got me really annoyed to a point where I thought, okay, I need something else. Now, linear power supplies are dreadfully expensive. Um, typically here in Canada, a good one is at least six to 700 Canadian dollars. That's a lot of money. Plus they weigh, you know, tons. So they're not really portable. So I was looking, is there something out there, not too expensive, that actually works well? And um, I came across this on Amazon, but before purchasing, I did a little research on the uh, internet and actually came across a YouTube channel where um, a ham radio operator is testing this and actually even opened the case to check how well it's built. Now this is roughly in the $100, $120 range and um, here in Canada with the export fees and everything because it came from the US cost me 158 Canadian dollars exactly. First thing that actually uh, caught my eye is the fact that it has a amp meter and a voltmeter. So it's gonna tell you voltage or amps used depending on what you're doing. So right now the FTD extended on this showing roughly around two amps of power usage on a receive. Um, the thing that I was actually attracted to is I knew that this was a switching power supply again. So I thought, yeah, it might be buzzing, but it has a noise offset right here. This little button that you turn actually switches the buzzing around. Um, I don't know if I can show you an example of this somewhere. I don't know if here we have buzzing that could be moved on. Yeah, here we do. So let's span to 50 kilohertz. So if there's a buzzing, like this one is probably a buzzing, if I turn this, the buzzing shifts away. So I can move the interference away from what I'm listening, as you see here by tuning this knob. Now you're gonna say, yeah, but it's still buzzing. Yeah, but the first thing that I noticed is that this power supply, the Tech Power TP30 SWI, is much less noisy than this Pyramid PSV300. This peak you see here is probably a quarter the size of the peaks that this one was giving me on this band. Plus, you see one, and the other one's out of range. Um, if I would have plugged this one in, in this span that I have now, you'd see at least two or maybe even three of them there's a lot more created by this one. 
So first surprise, they're weaker and they are far apart compared to what this one does. And the cool thing is if it ever falls on a frequency you're tuned to, you can offset and you can just tune it off so it's not there anymore. And this was definitely one of the cool things that I was looking for. But the enjoyment of having less buzzing, that also attracted me. Actually, when I go to frequencies like three megahertz, here, let's see what, uh, what do we have with uh, CHU, rather weak. Uh, one of the things that was a big problem with the, uh, the PSV 300 was that I was actually unable to receive almost anything on that range like you know 160 meters even 80 meters was washed out in noise which is not the case with the TP30 SWI so the fact that it's less noisy the fact that you have the offset if you ever have a buzz on the frequency you're tuning to really is amazingly cool for the price it's surprising it gives out the hamps you need um, and from what I've seen with people that opened the device the in internal uh, construction is also high quality. It's not a cheapo uh, supply. And actually, one of the comments made on the video I was watching is, I would not hesitate to plug this on any $1,000 radio. So it's like, yeah, okay, I have to try it. And i got to say, I've been pleasantly surprised. This is a cool little power supply, not expensive. Even more interesting, it's less heavy than this PSV 300. It's smaller, easy to carry around if you need to have a portable uh, power supply. This thing is easy to carry around. It's really not heavy. And it's surprisingly cool, even though on the top it says do not touch. Um, even with heavy use when I would uh, chase stations and so on, it never really comes really hot. It'll come, you know, kind of um, to a uh, uh, a warm temperature but never really hot that you put your hand on and you're you know you're gonna burn your hands of course there's a fan in it that actually changes speed depending on the uh, power now at the back you have the standard connectors like this which are capable of up to 30 amps and here in the front we have different connectors that are capable of uh, something like 3 amps so if you have something else that you want to plug in that requires less current, but that needs to be powered by 13.8 volts, uh, pretty good. And in the tests that have been done, and I've seen a few videos about that, the accuracy of the amp meter is very good. The accuracy of the volt meter is very good. And this is definitely a really nice power supply for a uh, ham transceiver or a CB radio looking for a good power supply for a CB radio and any radio in general anyways so the tech power TP30 SWI quite surprising for the price that it's sold for if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching